Hey everyone, um, I, I got the itch to make a video about organizing records and uh, however you organize them, A, a to Z. Before I show you what I have here, I just want to encourage you to maybe make your own video. Uh, a lot of times uh, there's a discussion thread and it uh, seems to me that a lot of times people don't want to really participate unless it's a contest and they can win a contest prize or something like that. But uh, just for the sake of uh, making a chain here of videos we can all compare, um, think about showing your own organization technique. Uh, yesterday and today are rainy days here, so the weather's terrible, so I stayed in and alphabetized a lot of records. And uh, here's the setup that I have in this room right now. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can zoom or zoom. Oh, that's the best I can do from where I'm sitting. Well, anyway, these here are not all my records. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit. I got records on this side here on the left. Then I got a CD cabinet over here where all my CDs are. And on the CD cabinet, if you look close to the bottom, uh, it gets a little disorganized down there. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the last three shelves on the right. Um, i got to organize that a little better. i got some 45s on the bottom that are just temporary. That's not where I keep my 45s. I have a lot more in boxes in another room. So here, on back to the LPs, I have four cabinets that uh, I stacked one on top of the other. I found these cabinets last year at my uh, record store. I went in there and uh, I think a customer had just sold his collection and left his cabinets there and they were going to junk them. They were going to throw them in the garbage. So I asked if I could get them, how much would they charge? And they said, just take them for nothing. So they're not perfect, um, but they do the job for now. Um, I had records in the other room. I think a lot of collectors know what I'm talking about where you have albums in various rooms leaning up against the walls and things like that that's what I had and um, I, I needed for a long time to alphabetize them so that's what I did and these are not all my records by the way uh, these are just anything that's not the Beatles or Elvis Presley um, Elvis and the Beatles have their own boxes which I'm going to show you in a little bit so just hang in there <laughs> um, but let me see if I can get a different angle on these um, basically I was concerned that maybe uh, the weight of the records would be too much these are just wooden cabinets but even though they bow a little bit and bend they're going to be okay um, I had been agonizing for a while over which outer plastic sleeve to use uh, I decided to go with the thinner sleeves that uh, have the resealable flap. Um, stand up here. The problem, of course, was when I was trying to organize these, and as we all know, when you take an album and try to slip it in and out here, you have to be very careful because if you're not, you're going to wind up bending the flap. So I'm curious to know which kind of sleeve you prefer um see i i try to do this i try to when i'm returning a record to its case i try to like push it over this way and allow enough space so that i don't catch that plastic flap and bun bunch it all up and tear it or anything um i put these albums in alphabetical order they were in the other room i, uh, I cleared them out put them here and uh it was a fun to do but it was also very tedious let me tell you which i think a lot of people could understand um hopefully alphabetizing records is a one-time thing once you once you get it done you don't have to worry about it anymore until you move and uh, unfortunately i'm going to be moving at some point maybe next year the way things are looking at this point uh, i don't know but uh that's why i have cabinets like these and i don't have those ikea expedite shelves which by the way are discontinued but there's going to be another ikea substitute but i haven't bought them yet because i figure what's the point of setting up here a big wall unit and bolting it to the wall if it turns out that i'm only going to wind up uh you know moving you know if i'm gonna move i really don't see the point 
doesn't make any sense to me to uh, spend the money and the time and fasten a, a, a wall unit here and build it and then have to take it down and move it in a year or so. So I'm still waiting till I get into that apartment. But um, yeah, so how do you organize your stuff? Um, do you put it alphabetical order? As I say, it's a real pain in the neck to do, but once you do, it's easy to find. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm fortunate because my records here, I don't have quite enough to take up all the space yet. As I go along, I will, but um, now I can have more space to insert whatever records alphabetically I get and rotate these around from, you know, as I need to make more space. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the other room now, which is not really tidied up, so I'm kind of not going to show it as I'm walking in there. Uh, I still got to master the art of editing. I don't know how to really edit the videos yet so instead of going back to a magical edit i have to kind of walk through the house with this so i'm gonna cover up the lens of the camera it's gonna get dark here for a moment just bear with me whoops it's my hand as i walk through the house uh, i'm going into the other room i just want to show you what the what i have here um okay over here this is a. Uh, a white what you call itzo box uh, I found these thanks to Mark Dr. Deadwax they're at uh, Target stores and they have them in black and white from what I've seen so far this is a white and the reason I chose a white one was because these are my Christmas albums I, sh I should have mentioned I don't keep Christmas in the other room either anything that I have a lot of I kind of like dedicate the own cube so um, you have their own cube here. This is my Christmas record. Now, what I like about doing it this way is that as I get older, I don't have to really worry so much about uh, seeing the spines, you see. I like doing this a lot better. This is like a record store. And as you can see, these are not yet in the ref uh, resealable flaps. A lot, Most of these are still in the top-loading old-fashioned sleeves, but... I like being able to do this. As I get older, I don't want to have to rely on spines. I like much better going like this, like you would browse bins in a record store. And then, um, let's see, there's my, you can't see it very well, but there's my turntable. It's kind of dark in this room. Turntable, let me see, this is a cabinet that I have here. And we got TV, the TV here, and then down, Again, I'm sorry, these are not in any, these are not really in good shape. I have to tidy up in here a little bit. I still got some records on the floor. This, this is the more, let me show this one. This is probably better. This is uh, the black cube, which is uh, the one I use. I have about three of these right now. And I need to get a couple more. These are for like the Beatles and Elvis. Anybody that I have a lot of albums by um and this this is another reason why i prefer the resealable sleeves that go all around because as you're flipping through records here you can see it's got a protective coating all around all sides of the album so when you flip through you don't have to worry about scuffing the tops of the records so these are just my beatles and again it's so much more convenient to me to be able to do this rather than looking at the you know shelves with the spines well I think that about uh, covers everything here I just wanted to show what I've been doing I've been spending time putting these more in order and I think I'm gonna keep this system of having these kind of cube crates just for stuff that uh, I, I have a lot of like Elvis and the Beatles oh but there is a question I wanted to ask you um Let's head back to the other room. Okay. Okay, bear with me. Okay, we're back. Now, one question I wanted to ask is, since I don't have the IKEA Expeditions yet, and many of you out there do, 
I like to alphabetize my records, as I said, and I, I, if, in a perfect world, I would have a big long shelf that can go A to Z all the way across in one shot. Now, the IKEA shelves are in boxes, they're in squares. You know, the IKEA shelves, say these were IKEA shelves, you would have uh, dividers, you would have a, a piece of wood going here to make cubes out of these and i'm wondering how do you people organize your records if you alphabetize them do you alphabetize them a to z because i would hate to have those ikea shelves with the cubes and the boards in the middle and then have to go a b c and then hit a board and then continue down here with a box and then continue it seems like a real headache to alphabetize records that way you know, or do you guys just go right across and ignore the board in the middle and just go A, A B, C, D? Do you know what I'm getting at? Because you have that divider in each square section for the IKEA shelves. Is that a pain in the neck? Well, I'm curious to get responses to this. As I say, okay, there's no contest here. There's no contest prize or anything. But just for the sake of discussion and continuity and everybody joining in, I'd really like to hear or see... Uh, what you do with your collection and if, if you prefer to just make comments that's fine but uh, thanks for indulging me I know this was a kind of crazy video with a lot of walking around and moving but uh, eh, at least it's different you don't have to look at my mug <laughs> talk to you later